you stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of nouveau fashion. Nouveau fashion. As proof, I present to you this. Ma! Ma! What, that trashy hat? The CC hat, the newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. <laughs> Do you see that luxurious curve? Why wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? No. This place is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. Oh, this piece is so special. It's not for sale. I'll pay you 20 rupees for it so I can stomp on it and smash it to bits right in front of your face. I shall only truly part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Aww. That ain't me. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule, trendiest village, and is worthy of such a crown. I'm not a fashionista. Not want to deal with any trouble today. <gasps> oh no. Hang on, Bella. Oof. We're not really getting through there, are we? Without some serious uh, battling. Oh, okay, Muddlebud time. <laughs> Oh, dang it. Okay. Ah! 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 Hey, we metal balled a lot of them. Oh, they killed me. Oh, that's a that's a really strong one, isn't it? Oh. Okay, I can't just fly in there like that. I gotta have a better plan, I think. Ah! Ah! Let's muddle by that one. Oh, he runs fast. Oh! Wait, I have, I have an idea. Hang on, I have an idea. What about a puff room? Yes! Oh! Oh! Those guys are strong, aren't they? Okay, we got a few of them. Look at that. Oh, a, whoa, Black Bow Coblin Home. Brandon, you need to eat something. Yes. Yes. And then let's throw some bomb arrows in there, maybe. Look at these idiots over here fighting each other. I love it. <laughs> oh, this guy right here. Let's get him with a puff room. Uh oh. Come down here, buddy. Over here. That didn't work out so well. Is he alive still? <laughs> this one can't find me, can he? Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha! Ooh. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. We took on a whole camp of bull goblins. Scary ones too. Watch like a blood moon happen right in the middle of all this and they all just like repopulate. Oh, hey, bro. Oh, thanks. I don't even have to do that. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Okay, we gotta we gotta collect all these spoils. I don't really want that bow. What do we got over here? Ooh. 
The blue moblin horn? Excellent! Ooh. Okay, that's not too bad. 12. I don't need a spear. Alright, Bella! Let's go to Atino Village. I need to reach my friend. You're not the only one, buddy. <laughs> Do you hear him? Where's a tower? There's no towers nearby. Oh, whoa, that's way up there though. Oh, wait, 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 Bella. Sorry. It's probably up that way. Good girl. I remember they showed this in the preview and I was like, what are, what's with all these mushrooms in Hatino Village? Hello. All right, let's hop off Bella here. We'll leave her by the entrance. Hello. Halt and identify yourself, suspicious guy. I'm not suspicious. Oh, you're not? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting. Uh, how did I do it again? You've come to Hatino Village, home of the fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around and we're at the forefront of fashion. Did I say that right? My dad would have known too bad he's still at Lookout Landing. Oh, hello. Tamara, Tamana, who is this freak? Excuse you? Uh, hey there, what brings you to town? <laughs> oh, he's actually pretty handsome. Oh, well, thanks. Now that I get a good look, are you talking about Link? Oh, what are you talking about? Okay, fine. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. Oh, okay. Thanks for the bird egg. You swept me off my feet so fast that I gave you one of my prized eggs. No, you swept yourself off your feet. You're the one holding a broom. No more though. Just forget what happened here today. How could I ever forget? Mm. Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg. It's easily given, but easy to break. Uh. <laughs> Please find it in your heart to forget what happened today. But how could I forget? Uh. She's gonna say the same thing. Okay. Uh. <laughs> it's forgotten. I was wondering if there was some way I could romanticize eggs. <laughs> what? But in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast and that's it. They say a cuckoo's memory lasts for three steps. If you promise to forget this whole thing, I'll forget it too. I'm never going to forget this, Tamana. I should head back to work. The stores and barn are always open. Take it easy, stranger. You too. <laughs> It has a shroom problem. Oh yeah, Link's house. Oh, I miss my house. I miss Link's house. Let's go see it. Oh, it's so beautiful here. I don't. I guess I don't hate the mushrooms. It, it's a lot. It's certainly different. Different than it used to be. What's this? Dream of owning your own home. Yes! Come down to Terrytown in Akala. We'll build it for you just the way you saw in, in your dreams. Hudson Construction. We helped with Terrytown in the last uh, game, but our house was here. Hello! Miss Zelda. Miss Zelda still isn't back. Is it because she's disappointed in me? What do you mean, Zelda? Why would she be at my house? That's my house. That's not her house. Oh, huh? Do you see... Do you have business at Miss Zelda's house? That's not Zelda's house. That's my house, Karen. You know she's not back home yet, right? Right around the time of the upheaval, Miss Zelda just stopped coming home. She always used to say, see you later whenever she left the village, but not that time. Zelda stole my house. First she's stealing tools for the garden. Now she's stealing entire houses. <laughs> yeah, about that. I will love Terrytown. Oh, I can't wait to go to Terrytown. I love this whole game. Oh, look at the sunset. It's lovely. It's so lovely. Or sunrise. I don't know. 
Wait, Zelda's house? Seriously? Zelda's house? <gasps> Okay, well, let's be honest. She decorated it better than I did. I had a bunch of weapons stuck to the wall and some shields. And she's got pictures on the wall. Oh, how cool. That's pretty. Lovely horse. Some palm trees. Oh, what's this? Zelda's journal. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of answers. She doesn't really have a British accent. A little bit. Doesn't does she? I don't remember. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But I was watched. But I, as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced. All was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They all had their strong wills are as Hylians are highly. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild and my contribution to their efforts will be it to protect them. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school and they built a school. Cool. That wasn't there before. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, beautiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Pura's assistant. Oh yeah, Simon, I remember Simon. Which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of the quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hatino Village before he sets on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house. One that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. What? Where is it? It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We won't have enough teacher. We don't have enough teacher. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty in this land. We shape our future by the way we shape our path. I hope to see the sterling numbers of blah, 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 blah. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade in Hudson construction. Okay. I had him add a secret room. One that won't appear. Oh, I'm already reading back through this. Okay, that's it. Done. Where's the secret room? What? Let's go down into Zelda's secret well. Oh. <gasps> wow, look at this. Oh, she's got more journals for us to read. Great. Though the calamity is over, it scares, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. <laughs> that's, what I have, that's why I have put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. Oh. I'll hide it in the throne room, so he won't find it until after our investigation. The throne room? What, at Hyrule Castle? Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. The torches are the key. New champion's tunic. Well, isn't this nice? Just a little well down here. Ooh! Well-worn hairband. Why do I want that? <laughs> oh, because it's his old school hair from the last game. Oh, I get it. I get it. Let's get out of here. We'll just ascend. Oops. Yeah, it's a haircut from Breath of the Wild. That's so cool. 
or Breath of the Wild Link. They definitely upped the quality of the lighting in this version of the game. Because as beautiful as Breath of the Wild was, I feel like there's just a better quality to the textures and the lighting of this one. It's lovely. Okay. So there's a school. We gotta go to the tech lab. What time is it? Okay, we got a little bit of time. Where's this school? <gasps> is that it over there? That looks like a new building. I don't remember seeing that last time. Why does everyone have mushroom hats on? What's going on here? As I've said multiple times now, I can't admit three customers at present. What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here and now you're saying we can't get in? What is this place? Clothing shop? But I wanted to see Cece's new stuff. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debuts new material. I remember talking to some of these ladies on the road walking around. They were, I think they were talking about Cece. Everything I heard said this was some of Cece's best work. Oh. I'm so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Oh. Mm. One ticket? So you're saying one person could go in? Oh. Hey, come on now. We can't let just one of us get a head start. <laughs> sure, I know that. I was. It was just a joke. Ah. Oh, well, maybe if we could come back later, they'll have room for all of us. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Hey, the dye shop. Oh, or we could check out the pasture. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've heard that a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. That's where mm. I'm headed later. Since we got all dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. <laughs> okay, you guys go for it. I'm going to try and get in there. Thank goodness they all gave up, hmm? Yeah. Oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sisters? I mean, the new line of CC products? As long as it's just you, you're free to go. Okay, I'll go in. Thank you. Um, I can post some screenshots on Discord, but yeah, I agree. Some crazy beautiful scenery, stylized graphic art style, photorealism. It is. It's a huge step up from the previous game. Like, it is incredible. I mean, of course, it makes sense because Breath of the Wild technically was made mostly for the Wii U, right? This was made on the Switch exclusively. Wow. What's with all the mushrooms? No. Ah, uh, another practically perfect masterpiece. That monstrosity? You think that's a masterpiece? It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and my reputation as the world-renowned CC. Hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me, are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? Hmm, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. How dare you? Mm. Welcome to my Ventest Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't aware, no. you stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of nouveau fashion. Nouveau fashion. As proof, I present to you this. What, that trashy hat? The CC hat, the newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. <laughs> Do you see that luxurious curve? Why wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? No. This place is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. Oh, this piece is so special. It's not for sale. I'll pay you 20 rupees for it, so I can stomp on it and smash it to bits right in front of your face. I shall only truly part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Aww. That ain't me. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule, trendiest village, and is worthy of such a crown. 
I'm not a fashionista. <sighs> Who's this? Reed? What's all this about? Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hatino. Uh. Ah, look who's here. What can I do for you, oh esteemed Mayor Reed? Oh, he's the mayor. Uh. Uh, I'm really sorry. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. Cece, you have got to quit littering in the village with your weird art pieces. I agree, it's a bit much, don't you guys think? Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hatino's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Now, now, dear, there's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know. Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? <clears throat> Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hatino wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh -huh. Looking after the village, you say? Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hatino's rejuvenation? I it didn't need rejuvenating. Hatino Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. Yeah. <laughs> Do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint, bygone ways. Oh, isn't she stuffy? The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. No! By holding a mayor election, of course. Calm down, Cece. You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure, uh, sure. Suits me, I'd win that pretty easy. Uh. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. Eh? What? <laughs> Come on, Calavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. <sighs> it's beautiful, you're just blind. It's fashion. <laughs> Is it? She doesn't seem too happy. She has to deal with all this stuff. All right, let's talk to her. Oh, you again. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayor election. And the sooner I get started, the better. Hmm. The answer should go without saying, but are you of course... Oh, she can ask me directly. Well, only because I think the mushrooms look cool with all the lights, I'm going to say a CC voter. No. But of course, I immediately regret my choice. Uh -huh. That settles that, I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor. Uh. Or so one would think, yet there are stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. No. And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed's supporter. Ooh. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. Fungal fashion. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. No. Although Sophie and I must mind the shop where we will find someone we can trust. Oh, fine. I'll do it. No. There's the magic. <laughs> There's the magic words I was waiting for. You're a lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these. Oh, thank you. Eight? I'd give out eight? Oh. These mushrooms are for villagers read supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. <laughs> My supporters are expert fashionistas dressed in the nines in CC. Uh -huh. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. Uh -huh. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us with, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. Uh -huh. Eight. Okay. Okay. That's, we're not doing that right now. We're not doing that, you guys. We're going to go to the lab. We're going to go to the lab because we got to end the episode soon. And then we'll go to the school next time over there. Oh, there's the school. Let's go to the lab. Yeah, I mean, look at this. It's so pretty at night. The light and everything. Well, we shall do that quest. Should we give one to this guy? 
Oh, wait, no, he's got a mushroom hat on, so he's probably a CC supporter already, right? Oh, calm down. Are there any non-CC supporters here? Oh, she has a quest? How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pool? There's no way. Not without, not with all this rain, huh? What's that blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. What's that you've got there? A Hylian shroom. Here you go. Ah, oh, from Cece, huh? Look, I'm not denying mushrooms are nice to look at, but to go from that to wearing them is, well, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. The couple at the inn didn't see eye to eye about the same thing. I guess it's tough sometimes to see the married to, to be married to someone with different tastes than you. Ah. But I can see you mean well enough with the gift. Thank you. Okay. Well, what do you need over here? I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond. Mm. I finally found the letter of my great grandpa. Okay. I'll get it out. Okay. How do we get it with... Oh, no, stop! With Ultra Hand? I got your message in a bottle, lady. You don't have to hit it to drive it. You just get on the control stick and it'll start. Oh, good to know. Here you go. I told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy. It's right here. That's my great grandpa. That's a giant bottle. Isn't that huge? Did you fish it out for me? Thanks. There should be a letter inside the bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let's see here. Yep, there we go. Gosh, I did miss great grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh. Now, especially with Mayor Chi's fermentation, can't name too early. Uh. Yeah, this could work. What? <laughs> Sorry to run, but I want to put Great Grandpa's advice into practice right away. Okay. Sure. Hey. It's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later so I can thank you for my help. Okay. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good not just for our farm, but for the whole village. <laughs> I'm itching to get started. Okay. Wait, is she going to thank me now for all that? She didn't give me anything. Ah, oh, good you showed up. Take a look at this. <laughs> cheese? Hatino cheese. That message my great-grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside, and so delicious. You'll think you're dreaming. But back to the reason I called you here. It's, well, you know. I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Oh, well, thank you. Anyways, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. Yum, cheese. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh. Yay, good. We got cheese. Mm -hmm. Maybe here is good. What, what is she doing now? Is she opening up a cheese shop? Oh, how cool is that? The Hatino Cheese Shop. We're helping, like, change the town. That's amazing. Ah. Yay. Yeah, I'll come back for sure and buy some cheese. That's so cool. I love making changes and making the town more exciting and things happening. Hi, ladies. Look out. Okay, where are we going? Up there, right? Oh, it's so different now. Okay, we're here. Hey, Robbie. This place is a mess. I guess it was a mess before, too. Ah, what a pleasant morning. Hey, you. The Purapad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Oh, thank you. Oh. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. Oh. The sensor reacts when you're close to shrines. Okay, cool. We had that in the first game. Yay. All right. 
Excellent. I'm going to turn that off, though. I hate the beeping. All right, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab and test it how it reacts? Oh, okay. Oh. There's a shrine out there. I'm not leaving yet. Uh, that's what I'm doing. We're still testing the sensor, so hold off from rushing around for now. Just walk in the direction you're moving. What's this? The sensor that I installed on your pura pad is reacting to something right here and now. It reacts when you're moving toward a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is that really the that one that close by? There must be because my creations are perfect. Okay. Now why don't you go down and check the slope in the direction the sensor was indicating. Okay. Down here. There's some bombable rocks down here. Ooh, look. Is this what he's talking about? It's still beeping. Must be in here. Retsem Forest Cave. Are there any baddies in here? Oh, there it is! The shrine. How lovely! Okay guys, thanks for hanging out today. Hope you guys had a good time. Next episode, we'll do the shrine and we will finish these quests in Hatino Village. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. hope.